All right, guys, we're back. Three pound fishing. Mama has put me to the test again. We gotta go find some fish. I'm gonna show you what kind of fish I'm looking for for a fish fry this evening, me and her. It's Friday. So uh, we're gonna go find them special fish. We're gonna bring them over to the, over there to the uh, cleaning station here. I might even bring you in the house so you can see what kind of batter, because we're gonna try something a little special today and mix it up in terms of the batter that we're using. I appreciate everybody's comments on what they use on the last video. Uh, again, this is gonna be a catch, putting slabs in the boat, then we're gonna put, put them in the fryer. That's how this thing's gonna roll. And uh, just so you guys know, we got some new decals on the boat. We got the new bait pop decal right there. That is awesome. We got the new three pound fishing logo right there. And uh, if you guys don't know, we got the king's tail. More to come on that. That's coming. And uh, I don't know. I'll bring this up real quick because I'll post this on Sunday. So we're about, we do have a special going on right now. And it is a 500 yards of Meteor for only $33.99. Ridiculous. Let's do this. So yeah, to take advantage of that deal, that 12 pound Meteor 500 yards, you have to go to snipingbraid.com. That's where the deal's at. So check it out there. Now, I did a guide trip this morning. We crushed it. Get on the list, let me tell you. But this evening, what I'm going to do, and we're starting this off roughly around three o'clock. So this evening's really about late afternoon. Um, we're gonna try some spots that we have not fished because these fish are definitely on the move. Definitely on the move. And some days they're on piles and some days they're not. Uh, it's just very interesting. We got water temperatures roughly around 55 degrees. And so we're definitely gonna be trying some new spots this afternoon, uh, prepping for guide trips that are happening the next, I think I'm 13 days in a row, something ridiculous. So we're gonna be looking for new spots, basically, is what we're doing. That's, that's the goal. We'll try it, we're gonna see, but let's do this. Now look at that. That's what I look for right there, guys. Check it out. That is nothing but solid crappie right there. How about that? Good find. Pretty deep crappie. Probably gonna be good size eating fish for a fish fry. So that's what I'm gonna target right now. All right, now, so these are a little bit deeper than we normally would go after, but I can just tell by the looks of them, they're probably a perfect fish fry fish. So here I come. Should be coming in right here. And it wasn't the best throw, but I think we're gonna be able to work with it. And I am pumping my power brakes, my uh, crappie brakes. I'm working both, but since the water's pretty still right now, we don't have to do much. So this is just gonna barely get here. Hitting it on the corner, really. But this is first drop and we got a lot of action. Bam, there it is. I told you, it isn't gonna take long. And these should be just perfect little bitty eaters. That guy's a little too little. We ain't gonna do nothing with that one. But as you can see, success right off the bat, even though it is a small fish. So we're gonna do that again. No hesitation, right back at it. All right, so there it is, the drop coming right here. Perfect drop. And again, my perfect size fish is anywhere between a 10 and a 12, but realistically, I really like the 10s, 10 and a halfs. To me, they're the perfect thickness. So these guys are gonna move pretty quick to it. See, look at this. I don't give up on them. Ooh, I missed them. Using the hammer 10, getting the job done. The hammer 10s are gonna be back in stock here within about the next 10 days. And they are starting to say a, a, a list who has first priority to them. Bam, there it is. All right, we're gonna probably keep that guy. He's a small guy, but I, again, I like to eat small fish, so. There we go. Perfect eater. That's what I'm talking about. Just a little eater. And that's what we like. Now, I showed you my decal with bait pop. 
I want to go through some of the colors that I like personally that I keep up at the front of my boat all the time. The ice fishing version, it's almost a glass white and I love it. It's got sparkle scales, everything that you'd ever want. The walleye version right here, it's got a gold flake. I love it. Who doesn't like monkey milk? So it's just called monkey milk, but I just look for those, those blue flakes. Check it out. And then as you guys know, and I talk about it a lot right now, the catfish formula. This one right here is probably my all time favorite, but I've got all four of these guys up near me at all times. During guide trips, we go through them. We try them out, which one's working. Do we need them? That's always a question. If you don't need them, I don't think you should put stuff on it you don't need. If you're catching fish without it, then you know keep going. But when the bike gets finicky, and it has definitely got finicky during this period, this time of year, because of the different changes in weather and temperatures, put the edge in your boat, in my personal opinion. You can check them out at baitpop.com. That's easy. Hmm. Hammer tan, baby. You can feel the slightest of bites, which is the coolest thing. That's the hammer 10, guys. I'm telling you, get on the list. They will sell. We have just a limited amount of rods that are coming on the express order, and they will sh sell out quickly. And then the bulk of the order should be here in about a month, month and a half, month probably. But the express order is going to be made up of about 50 rods, and we're only selling those to people that buy them on the website and are on that list. So that's why I highly recommend you get on the list, get your hammers, because you'll never feel a better 10-footer. I'm just telling you. Buy them. One. <laughs> fish fry. Now just to go through my setup before we get going again, I'm fishing with the all white hair jig. This is the one that's part of that combo pack. You can also buy these individually. Probably my all time favorite jig right now. I always have that number seven split shot right here. And this is the Comet. And I've been using this, I'm not joking you guys. I've been using it for probably about a week now straight. And this stuff, and that's why it's white right now, because I mean, I've been using the heck out of it on guide trips. And I'm saying this stuff is strong. We got hung up today for the first time uh, at the end of the guide trip, and we still couldn't break it. Um, had to actually cut it. Um, that just shows you how strong this new fiber is for the Comet. And um, you can't go wrong with it. So definitely, definitely try out the new 10 pound Comet at Sniping Braid. Not a sales pitch, just flat out fact. So, here we go. Bam. We back, we back, we back, we back. Bam. Combination, man, of sniping braid and the hammer. Psh, good night. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. Good fish here, guys. Wow. Slab. Look at that, guys. That's on the new King's Tail. That new King's Tail is hot. Can't wait to share it with you guys when it arrives here. Be on the lookout. Of course, like I said, you guys can get on the list. Like I said, you guys can get on the list. Uh, put some big fish in the boat. That's a good little slab. It's going to be probably the biggest one we're going to keep. For the fish fry but i'll tell you what check it out the king's tail it's out guys it's gonna be hot and uh you can order it right now get on the pre-sale list um like i said there's gonna be a special i think we got a hundred of these coming for the express and then we've got the balance of them coming after that so get on the list for the king's tail eight footer it's fantastic lightweight yeah what can i say all right straight to the fish fry all right, guys. This is a different episode. This is a different episode, without a doubt. And this is a different re recipe. So typically, what I would be using is just a crushed saltines. Now, one thing I did do, guys, is I did chill the crappie. So I did put them on ice for about I don't know, probably about an hour. And I did this primarily because when I didn't do that last time. I won't say they were mushy, but I felt like they were mushy and I wanted to so get them super cold after I caught them 
And now we're going through the process of actually prepping the crappie. I don't know. We might go back to the original formula, but we're gonna try it out first. So it's obviously, it's really puffing up big time. This is the first piece right here. And first time we've really tried the batter style where we made our own recipe here. So it could be fantastic. Who knows? You're gonna try it. I'm gonna show the recipe. I'm gonna put the recipe online. I'm gonna put it with this video. I'll actually put it up on the screen right now so you guys can see it. That's pretty good. Now I did add a little garlic butter. You can add whatever seasons you want, pepper, whatever you want to do to it. But I gotta admit, that's pretty tight. Yeah, I like it. Please subscribe. Love you guys. Take it easy.